welcome to another video let's solve this system of equations so the first thing we are going to do here is uh we are, if i let this to be a particular letter suppose i choose a and here is b so we have figures method of doing this but i think this is very efficient so here we have a equals to uh the cube root of x plus 13 while for the second one uh, which is b equals to uh, the cube root of x uh, plus all right so for the second one so it's x minus 13 and so we know from here if i take the cube of both sides and so here becomes a raised to power 3 equals to x plus 13 so y for the second one b raised to power 3 equals to x minus 13 and so after we have gotten this so we must know that from this uh equation so let's say i consider a particular identity so which is let's say a minus b raised to power 3 so this identity is equivalent to um a raised to power of 3 uh then minus 3a square b uh, plus 3ab raised to the power of 2 so this is just like a binomial expansion so of power of 3 and y for the last one is minus b raised to the power 3 so the reason i do this is so because what i left above i'm going to get it here and uh, with some other i'm going to be using so let's combine a cube and the b cube so we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3 so y for the second one is uh you know something is common which is 3a b is common so but taking out this negative so what will happen uh inside there is the one having plus here it changed to negative so there we have this and um so uh from this what we got uh we need a key minus b key so which has not been provided so let's do that so if I try to subtract these two, a cube minus b raised to power 3, so this becomes, so a cube is x plus 13, uh, bracket this minus, while for the b cube is x minus 13. So we bracket this as well. And by expanding this, we have x uh, plus 13 minus x plus 13. And x cancel x, then 13 plus 3 uh, plus 13, that becomes 26. Uh, so this is the value of the difference of two keep so which is a keep minus b keep while we still need a b so then that we have a multiplied by b equals to so we know we let uh, all these to be equals to a so by writing it here we have the cube root of x plus 13 uh, this is multiplying b and the b is uh, another cube root which is x minus 13 so since both of them are working on that same cube root and this is just like the difference of two square so we take one cube root and so this becomes x raised to the power of 2 minus 13 raised to the power of 2 so the difference of two square one is positive and one is negative so just the same number and the variable so we still need a minus b and which you have left above so which means our a minus b is just like so you know from here since we let this one to be a i will let this one to be b so which means subtracting a and b now so everything here becomes two so we must know that so uh, subtracting a and b it becomes two so the two at the right hand side so that is value of b uh minus b so thereby we have two and i think all the ingredients that we have that have been provided so the next thing is just to plug in all these values and so what we have at the left hand side from the above so this uh the right hand side this equals to so the difference of these two cube these two cube is 26 so we are going to have 26 then minus uh we have three multiplying a b and the value of that a b is uh, the cube root of x square minus 13 square then we have it here as well so the cube root of x raised to the power of 2 minus 13 raised to the power of 2 
then uh, this is also multiplying again uh, a minus b and the value of that a minus b equals to 2 so i'm going to bracket all this and multiply it uh, with 2 then uh, the left hand side here is a minus b all raised to the power of 3 and don't forget that this a minus b is equivalent to 2 so we just try to replace it uh, as 2 raised to the power of 3 equals to a is 26 then multiplying 3 and 2 together that becomes 6 then the keep uh the key root of this so um, 13 square is 169 then uh 2 square equal 2 raised to the power 3 that is uh, 8 then we subtract this 26 equals to minus 6 uh i forgot this key root so we have the keep of s square minus 169 then 8 minus 26 that becomes minus 18 equals to uh we have this as negative 6 but if i change this one to in a power form we have s keep minus s square minus 169 gets to the power of 1 over 3 then negative cancel negative and divide by 6 6 and 18 that is 3 equals to x raised to the power 2 minus 169 all raised to the power of 1 over 3 and let's take the cube of both sides so just to cancel this uh, 1 over 3 so we have this uh, equals to x square minus 169 raised to the power 1 over 3 all raised to the power of 3 as we did at the left hand side so these two cancelled and here 3 raised to the power 3 that is 27 equals to x square minus 169 and by adding 169 to both sides we just to have only x raised to the power of 2 so these two cancel and the 27 plus 169 so this becomes 196 and then we are taking the square of both sides we're taking the square root of both sides so introduce plus or minus and these two cancel then x equals to plus or minus uh, a is 14. So this plus or minus 14 satisfy the given uh, radical problem above. This is how to solve this problem. So I believe there is another way of doing this. So if you know it, you can drop it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I will see you in the next class. Never stop learning.